Solar Eclipse, April 8, 2024. I will break this video into three parts. What is actually happening? The path of totality that everyone has been talking about and the three best places to view the solar eclipse in Toronto. Towards the end, I will have the bonus where you could actually see the best solar eclipse in Southern Ontario. So let us begin. Before we start, I need to read something to you. Solar eclipses, eye safety. Protect your eyes from the sun. Basically, you are looking at the sun. Never look directly at the sun during a solar eclipse, except during the very brief time that the sun is in total eclipse. So which means that the moon gets in front of the sun totally, so you have that glimpse of a couple of uh, seconds in some spot and even some minutes if you're in the best uh, path of that eclipse where you could actually see the total eclipse with your own eyes and have no damage. Looking directly at the sun can cause permanent damage to your eyes. So definitely be careful. I know you're probably excited. You're taking your kids, your loved ones to see this mega, 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 mega uh, eclipse, but be careful and protect your eyes at all times. After viewing a solar eclipse, seek treatment from an eye professional care if you and your child have, uh, have any changes in your vision or if it's getting any worse. So Use expert approved solar uh, eclipse glasses to view a solar eclipse safety and without damaging your eyes. Obviously, there are manufacturers uh, standard ISO 12312-2 standard and you can look into that and find the best set that will suit you and your family protecting your eyes. So let's get into it. What is a solar eclipse? Solar eclipses occur when the moon moves between the sun and the earth. The moon causes the light of the sun to be blocked from reaching earth, casting a shadow on the earth. So that is extremely spectacular. It doesn't happen a lot of times. And in my, in my video, I will explain to you what the path of totality means and why some of the people living even in Canada and United States and in the world may not catch that and will not even notice that there was an eclipse because they're on an angle of the earth where the, the angle will not allow them to feel that, to feel that eclipse. Now, there are obviously questions. So what happens? Is it a doomsday? Is everything going to go upside down? Are there different changes and whatnot? What happens to the animals was a huge, huge debate amongst my friends and people and colleagues. And we talked about that. So, so the debate was what happens to the animals and how do they react to this particular phenomenon of the solar eclipse? So, you know, talking to friends and, and colleagues and acquaintances and whatnot, some people are worried that it will change and that something dramatic will happen. Well, that's not the case. So usually before the solar eclipse, there is a window of a half an hour to an hour before we see that. So animals can sense that. So if you see before the eclipse, uh, if you see that, um, you know, maybe birds are flying, uh, you know, out of order or stuff like that, or they're flying towards a particular path or, or stuff like it's basically what that means. They're trying to find shelter and they're going to sleep because that's what happens. They think it's dawn and it will be night and they have to find shelter and they have to fly away to, to safety. So same thing like uh, some uh, people have reported that even bees, uh, you know, they, they would they would fly to the, to their to, to their, uh, you know, flowers and their fields and farms and and before the eclipse, because they sense that uh, darkness is coming and they think it's nighttime, they would actually lay down on the floor of that particular farm uh, wherever they're at, the forest, 
because they think it's night and they do they will not uh, make it to their beehive or whatever the case is so nothing out of ordinary it's just nature signaled them that it's time to go to bed right like they don't have lights like we do and they cannot turn on youtube and watch videos so to them naturally they're just okay so it's time to go to bed even though it's the middle of the day and they don't know that it's a solar eclipse but they can feel it's getting dark so now when you get into uh, farms like you know horses uh, sheep different animals chicken or whatnot they will sense it some some animals don't even care to be honest with you you know some like for example a horse will not even look at it like think okay it's day it's dark it's, it's whatever it is we'll run around uh, uh, the farm and that's about it right so uh, don't take this too serious it's not doomsday or anything like that it's just a solar eclipse where basically uh, the the moon gets in front of the Sun and blocks the Sun in a perfect uh, manner that you cannot see the Sun and blocks uh, the 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 sun to shine on the earth and then we have the shadow and that's basically solar eclipse now let's move on so what is the path of totality so the path of totality is the area where people on earth can see the moon completely covered uh, the sun as the moon's shadow falls upon them so coming uh, coming eclipse is april 8 2024 and the previous one the last one was uh the eclipse on august 24th 2017. so now what is the difference right like you might say okay so how is this one in april coming up different than the one uh in 2017. so there's a little bit of a difference here so <laughs> so the first difference is that um, the, the shadow the shadow of the moon will be much bigger because the moon this time is closer to earth than it was in 2017 eclipse so on the april 8th the moon shadow will be swept across the united states as millions will view a total solar eclipse many prepare for this um, uh, event and memories bringing on august 21st 2017 having said that in 2017 an estimated 215 million u.s uh united states citizen uh, adults that's 88 percent uh, have seen the solar eclipse either directly or electronically somehow so it is interesting uh, i will pull up the map right now and you will actually see the difference uh, so if you look at the map uh, now the path like it's completely off and it's obviously completely different uh, but this path on 2024 you can see it is much much wider so uh, the path will range uh, somewhere between 62 to 71 miles wide in 2017 as we can see on this graph uh, but in April coming up now in 2024 it will be 108 to 122 miles wide that's a huge difference that's almost double because the moon is so much closer to earth than in 2017 having said that it is recorded uh, that only 15 total solar eclipses have been recorded in the last 150 years uh, in the united states so now you're asking me so okay so af after april the 8th 2024 when is the next solar eclipse so the next solar eclipse will be on august 2044 by estimates of nasa so so we have uh 20 years until then so mark your calendars so let's get into the best uh, uh the best locations in toronto where you can take your family and where you can watch the solar eclipse now the number one obviously is the cn tower uh you I, I would you should definitely pick up your phone and try to book some tickets or book your seats because it, it will be full 
uh, and, and you should definitely book the seat if you want to go to the CN Tower. The second one on the list is the Toronto Metropolitan Univer University and they will have an Eclipse watch party. Then we have the Toronto Zoo, Solar Eclipse at the Toronto Zoo, that's how they call it. Uh, and then the Toronto Public uh, Libraries that will have various event um, for the solar eclipse on uh, April the 8th, 2024. So, you're asking me right now, what is the ultimate place? And there's a reason for that. Because let's pull up the map and I will show you. If you look at the map and if you look at the trajectory of the moon, so the moon is just on the edge of that uh, of, of, of that shadow. It's going to hit the edge. So we will see it in Toronto and we will feel it, but not as much as in Niagara Falls. So if you really want to see the ultimate shadow in Canada, drive to Niagara Falls. But... In Niagara Falls, it will start on 2 p.m. So the shadow will start at 2 p.m. And the total eclipse is to be estimated by 3, 3 o'clock and 18 minutes. So 3.18 p.m. And it will last for 3 minutes and 30 seconds of total shadow. So if you want to get to the best place in Southern Ontario and you can get to the 8th wonder in the world, that is Niagara Falls. Please uh, be cautious. It will be busy. They're estimated to have hundreds of thousands of people for this event. So what are the prime viewing points in Niagara Falls? So the prime would be Table Rock Center, uh, Skyline Tower, and the Niagara Sky Wheel. So if you, catch, if you can catch any of these locations, and if you can book your seat, Please do that. Please like, comment, and share. And please comment if you have ever seen a total eclipse uh, in your life, ever. So the last one was in 2017. If you have witnessed that, I would love to hear your comments. And uh, see you next time. Please like, uh, subscribe, and share. And I will try to make my efforts to drive to Niagara Falls to see this beautiful event of the solar eclipse. Thanks for watching and see you next time.